Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today, I'm doing a requested video. Uh, some of y'all asked if I would do a water jug test and use some of this uh, Winchester 22 short versus a 22 long rifle, which I grabbed some of this Aguila 22 Super Extra High Velocity. Let you see what each one of these look like compared to each other. There's a long rifle. There's a short. Yeah, I've got that food coloring all over me. But hey, that's what happens when you play with water jugs. Now I'm going to shoot uh, probably from here because surely to God I can hit that pretty square. When I'm using the Keystone Cricket pistol with, what is it, a 10 and a 5 inch barrel and some fiber optic sight, so yeah, I should be able to hit that thing pretty square. I stand like right here. Bang, yeah, I should be able to do it. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it'd probably be a little more exciting if I get up there close. Let me get these cameras resituated and I'll stand up there close that way we know 150% that I'm getting a straight shot into them jugs. All right, guys, we'll get close up and personal with this shot. First up, a little 22 short. Now, that's them little uh, Winchester Super X. These little shorts are pretty hot. Now, this should be a good enough distance. Well, hopefully y'all have already thrown your guesses down in the comments. That's a usual. Uh, I should have guessed myself. Let's run up there and see what that 22 short done. I think it only popped one. Oh, wait a minute. It's jug number one. There's our inlet, and that bad boy came out, bleeding blue. I can hear that water running out. Right there, jug number two, in, and I don't believe this. Jug number two, actually an exit hole. All right, jug number three, entrance. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Jug number four, an exit. I mean, jug number three, an exit, my bad. Jug number four, there's an entrance. Please don't go out the back. I see no exit. I mean, that made a gusher out of it, didn't it? Well, hopefully we caught that bullet in jug number four. I did not see an exit in that thing. But would you look at that? There's a little 22 short. So if you guess four jugs that it would be called in, then you guessed correctly. Man, that thing was screaming for such a little bullet. All right, guys, I throw seven more jugs up there. Let's see what that'll do. I didn't think that short would go into four jugs, that's for sure. That was surprising. Now we'll have our Willa. 
really made a mess. Let's run up there and check it. All right, guys, I had all these numbered. Let's see what we ended up with. Grab my little camera and turn it off here. Uh, so we had a number one, number two. That's a number one. How did that happen? Oh, that was from the previous one. So there's a one and a two. Here we go. Jug number three. There's an in. There's an out. Jug number four. There's an in. And there is an out. Jug number five. What? That bully must have really curved in jug number four. I don't see it in there anywhere. Yeah, it looks like it curved and come out the bottom of jug number four. Well, dang. Well, guys, considering the way that that exited, I'm pretty confident that thing would have went into jug number six and we would have caught that bullet. Um, yeah, I'd say pretty much for sure that's the way it would have happened. Sorry, I just don't have enough jugs to reshoot the long rifle. Sometimes that's the way it goes. Even though you stand up there, you're straight on it, and bang, that bullet will curve in that water sometimes. And, hey, it is what it is. Well, guys, appreciate you watching, and I uh, appreciate the handful of y'all that uh, asked for that video to be shot. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed shooting it. If y'all would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And if you would, please, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Again, thanks to everyone for watching and for all you do for the channel. Very much appreciate it. Until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.